guys, so I thought I'd do a quick video that is kind of like our jump clinics, um, but aimed at our mini and our tiny athletes. So this will be quite a short video. Um, you'll want to keep pausing this, mums and dads. Um, every time I've done an exercise, pause it, let your athlete do this, the required rep repetitions of that exercise and then play it again for the next exercise. I'm not gonna do every single repetition. This video would be very, very long if I did. Um, so you won't need any equipment for this. Um, any of the equipment that's behind me, ignore it, that's for other videos. You might want a mat if you're out in the garden, but you don't need one. Um, just makes it a little bit more comfortable for the stuff we do on the floor. Um, so I'll take you through each exercise. Mums and dads, I will also give some pointers on some of the things that you can look out for to make sure that your athlete's doing this to kind of the best standard and making sure they're getting the most benefit out of everything. Um, if you have any questions on any of the jump exercises, please just post in one of the groups and one of the coaches will answer your question or post a comment under this video. We'll try and keep an eye on things and, and give you some, some feedback as well. So we'll start with our stretches. So I'm gonna shuffle back to my mat so you can see me. So the first thing we need to do once we're nice and warm, make sure you're nice and warm first, is our stretches for our jumps. So we're gonna sit in our straddle and I want everyone to reach up nice and tall. You're gonna put one arm over your belly and you're gonna reach over and try and grab your foot if you can. And you want to hold this for at least 10 seconds. And then you want to swap and go to the other side and hold that for at least 10 seconds. If you can hold it for a little bit longer, you'll get a little bit more of a stretch. You're then gonna come back to the middle and you're gonna reach forward. And you want to try and put your chest on the floor, but you need to be nice and flat if you do that. So if you can't put your chest on the floor, just reach as far forwards as you can. You should be able to feel that on the inside of your legs. Once you've done your stretches in straddle, you want to sit into a pike, point your toes, and you want to reach up and try and grab around your feet or around your ankles. Again, you want to hold this one for about 10 seconds as a minimum. Once you've done that one, you want to put your feet together like this. So your knees come out, a couple of little bounces, and then push your knees down to the floor with your elbows. Try and keep your chest up when you do this, don't lean down too far. And again, you want to hold this one for at least 10 seconds. Once you've done all of your stretches, you can stand up, ready to do the first exercise. So our first exercise is going to be a frog jump. So to do a frog jump, we're gonna come down into a little frog position. I'm gonna jump all the way up. I want you to clap your hands at the top of your frog jumps. So you come down, clap up, and back down. I want you to do at least 10 frog jumps. No, no more than 20, but at least 10. So jump up and clap. So that's your first exercise. If you need to pause the video here, so you can do those, pause the video. Once you've done your frog jumps, your next exercise is going to be some side to side jumps. So this is to really think about using our, our legs and our toes. So we're gonna go on our toes, to try not to bend our knees, Hands on the hips, jump, side to side. So we should be bouncing on our toes and on the balls of our feet. Bounce, 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 bounce. I want you to think about bouncing backwards and forwards 10 times in total. So you go bounce, bounce, that's one. Bounce, bounce, that's two. Again, pause the video here if you need to so you can finish those up. Make sure you do at least 10. Once we've done those ones, we're gonna do tuck jumps. So we're gonna bounce and then tuck. We want to think about bringing our knees up nice and high. So we bounce and we tuck, knees nice and high. Again, 10 of those ones. Once you've done all of those, there you're kind of bouncing around exercises done. Then we need to work on strengthening our muscles. So we're gonna come back to this straddle position and we're gonna put one hand on either side of our leg. I'm gonna do some little leg raises. I want you to think about trying to keep your hands as flat on the floor as you can, your toe nice and pointed, and your leg really, really straight. And if you can, I want you to do 10 of these on each leg. If that's a little bit hard, do five, then five on your other leg, and then go back and do five and five again. So do them in two sets of five instead of one set of 10 on each leg. Once you've done your leg lifts in straddle, you're going to come back to a pike position. 
You're going to put your hands on the floor again, either side of your legs, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to raise your leg in pike, one leg after the other. Again, 10 on each leg. If you need to do it as two sets of five, do it as two sets of five. Once you have done those, we are going to do some tummy exercises. So we really need to work on our core as well as our legs for jumps. So we're going to lay on our backs. We're going to bring our feet up so our feet are flat. We're going to put our hands on our thighs and we're going to sit up to touch our knees and sit back down. Sit up to touch our knees and sit back down. I want you to try and do 10 of those every time. Once we've done those, we're going to lay our legs out flat. We're going to put our hands on the floor next to our bottom and we're going to pull our knees into our chest. Up and back down. Up and back down. Again, I want you to aim for 10 of each of those. Once you have done all of that, then you can start to practice your jumps. So, let's go through what our body position should look like for each jump. For a toe touch, our legs should be in a straddle position, our toes should be pointed, our laces should be pointing to our back wall. So for me it's this wall, so my laces are pointing backwards so my hips are turned, and our arms should be in a T, and our chest is up nice and strong. This is the position we're looking for. Okay? If we're doing a pike, our toes are pointed, our legs are straight in front of us, and our arms are in a candlestick position. If we're doing a herky, one of our legs comes behind us in this position, the other leg stays in front of us, and our arms are in candlesticks. We can swap that round for the other herky. You can see my foot just about. Okay, that's the position we're looking for for each of our jumps. So, to practice our arm motions, this is best off done either with a mirror so you can see yourself or with your mum or dad watching so they can tell you if your arms have gone too high. So, we start in a nice clean position. We can clasp to our front. So just in front of us, we're not out here. We clasp to the front. We punch up nice and straight. We come back down to that same position that we were in at number one. Lift or bend in our legs on three. And then on four, we come up to hit our jump. So it's either gonna be a T or it's gonna be candlesticks. So we're either gonna be here or here and our legs will be doing what our legs are doing. And then on five, we come back to clean. So we go one, two, three, four, five. And that's it. You can start adding your legs on. So if it's a T, that's a toe touch. If it's candlesticks, it's a pike or a herky. And you can practice those all you want. So I, I would recommend doing this video maybe three or four times every week, um, at least once though. Um, and if you can join us for Jump Clinic, please do join us for Jump Clinic um, when we do those live. Please put a comment on to let us know you're there um, because it reminds us that we need to keep on top of who's there. If we only think we've got the older girls, we, we cater it to the older girls, okay? But we love seeing everybody on our Jump Clinics and we love seeing you all working really, really hard at home. All right, brilliant. Thank you guys and I shall see you soon. Bye.